session we have seen about the high rupturing capacity fuse so which is capable of handling both the low voltage that is low as well as the high breaking currents okay in today's session we are just going to incorporate one more tripping device along with this hrc fuse we are going to analyze its operation moving on to the circuit diagram we are just going to have a ceramic heat resisting body with a metal end caps and you are going to have several silver elements which is going to be the fuse element and in the center you are going to have the tungsten element and then this tungsten element is going to be connected with the weak link and the chemical charge and then it is going to be connected to the plunger thus if you could see you are going to have a outer body with the metal caps you are going to have two fuse elements one is your silver fuse element and tungsten fuse element this tungsten fuse element is going to be in series with the weak link and the uh, charge carrier and it is going to be attached to the plunger so in this case whenever a fault occurs and the fuse elements they are going to be break upon in that case this plunger is going to moved out and it is going to initiate a circuit breaker to operate it is going to give this so this plunger is going to be connected with the tripping circuit of a circuit breaker so that is the only difference between the previous circuit and this circuit now here if you are going to see so whenever a fault under fault condition the fuse is going to melt and it is going to trip the or it is going to give the signal to the tripping device through the plunger and here if you are going to see as i told you you are going to have both the silver and your tungsten element and this trip circuit is going to be facilitated by the plunger and whenever we will consider the condition of a fault in that case a silver element that is first the silver element melts so this heat vaporization is going to be taken in by the tungsten element which is going to get melted since this tungsten element is going to be in series with the weak link and the chemical charge so it is going to it is going to melt the weak link and the chemical charge okay so whenever the chemical charge is going to explode it is going to detonate it is going to pull the plunger out where it is going to be connected to the trip circuit of the circuit breaker so which takes care of the remaining action now here here the care is taken or it is the circuit is designed in such a way that the plunger whenever it is going to be ejected during the fall it is not going to get ejected completely so it just helps in giving the signal or the trip signal to the tripping device of the circuit breaker whenever we are going to see the advantage if at all uh, if i am going to consider a three phase and if a fault occurs in a single phase then this circuitry helps to open all the three phases thereby we can avoid the damage or we can avoid the single phasing whenever a fault occurs in one phase so the voltage in the other two phases gets increased the next thing is since i am going to connect the fuse with the circuit breaker the effect of the full short circuit okay it is going to reduce suppose if i am going to use only the circuit breaker in that case i should have the uh, design criteria to fulfill that particular whatever is a constraint whereas in this case since a fuse is associated with the circuit breaker so the choice of the circuit breaker will be made inexpensive because i have connected the circuit breaker with the that is a fuse with the circuit breaker it is not only the circuit breaker that is going to act on so what is the effect of the full short circuit current magnitude would get reduced after the fuse element blows out and when the signal reaches the circuit breaker of course it avoids the replacing of the fuse now moving on to the application and its uh, whatever the range of application it is used up to 16 to 30 kilo amps of application at 440 volts and it is mainly used for the low voltage distribution loads where you want to protect the circuit against the overload and short circuit so with this i wind up today's session and in the next session we will be seeing about the high voltage fuses thank you